Everybody knows Gala, he says. So what do you know about Gala? What kind of team are they? Physical, very, very physical from last year. Um, actually, we've been down to Gala quite a lot over the last season. It's actually, I, I do like playing down there. Mm. It does have a good pitch on a good day. So it's good to get the game kind of in early in the season and not, not January. Uh, like in the cup when it was covered in snow, but uh, yeah, we're looking forward to getting down there early doors. It's a good point though, because there's a lot of analysis done and you, you know the other teams so well. So when it comes to the analysis, what's the important part? Looking at them or, or, or thinking about yourselves? I think as well, we are a league so competitive. Like you said, it's teams have got to try and adapt how they play year in, year out, or they do become predictable. So uh, a little bit of analysis on them, but that's almost impossible to do for the start of the season. Uh, maybe a, a few weeks into the season you'll be able to watch some of their games and pick up some stuff, but really, first game of the season is just anything can really happen, so just looking forward to getting out and the both of us will just throw what we've got at each other and see, see how it goes. Analyse Hawks then, what are they like as a team? Uh, yeah, well like you're saying, there's always a degree of uncertainty in the, in the early stages of the season, but from last year they're, they're a team that likes to throw the ball around, play a bit of an up, up-tempo game. Uh, so I think for us, we've just got to try and try and play the pace, uh, the game at our pace. Uh, they're quite good against a broken defence, so just sort of make sure we're tight in that in that area. So uh, yeah, they, they do like to throw the ball around. So I think we've got to make sure that we're tight defensively. Yeah. And for for anybody that's watching the games, I know you guys are working your hardest on the pitch, but for anybody watching the games, they're entertaining to watch because of that openness. It makes it a a really good spectacle. Oh, I agree. Uh, can you put your money on anyone to be honest so it's a bit plain we always know we're in for a game week in week out it's not the case of you can rotate players because you have easier games it's it's week in week out you've got to make sure you're, you've got the strongest team out really so it'll be interesting just to see uh, how, how teams cope towards the latter st stages of the season as well uh, if they manage to keep their players fit and, and put the best teams out so the great thing about the league start is everybody um, is in an optimistic frame of mind going into the, the, the new season How's the pre-season been going for you guys? Yeah, no, pre-season's going, been going well. Um, we've brought in a new coach to our coaching team. Um, so we now have Ruth Slavin um, to join um, Alan Douglas and Rona Shepherd. So we've now got two former national team players uh, with, our, with our coaching staff and it's been really good. In terms of the, the international season that you had last season, um, really good performances by the women's team. Does that filter down to the club game, Sarah? Does that make a difference? Yeah, definitely. We're continuously um, getting a higher intensity in our international matches, as you said. Um, that's starting to filter down. You can see in the, the cup final here at Murrayfield, it um, was a really good game and the intensity is getting higher and higher, so it's getting a lot, a lot better. You know, the great thing about the club game is where you see the new players coming through and hopefully making that step up. So how yeah. important a level for women's rugby is, is, is the Premiership? No, it's really important. Um, um, our, our club this year, we've got about four players stepping up from, from the youth team, um, which is really good. And we've also got a new competition for the for the youth team. They're going into the President's Conference, um, and that should mean they're a higher standard with more game experience by the time they come up. OK, now you're about to take a kick. <laughs> um, how do you think you're going to get on? Um, not very well. <laughs> um, I'm a hooker, so I don't really kick very well. Um, unfortunately, I'm not as good as Lana Skeldon when it comes to kicking. That's the longest one.